Yeah, I want to do a facial. I need it. Look, I'm getting some breakout right here. Hey y'all, I'm back with another, I don't, I shouldn't sing, sorry. I'm back with another mask from Shea Moisture. And it's a deep soap African mud mask and it clarifies your skin. It really gets in deep into your t sorns and rips out those, but not like that. It just... All right, so let's get into the ingredients before we put it in so we know what we're putting on our face. I always get ready to put like that Southern accent on when I'm getting ready to put a mask. I don't know why, but stay with me. We're getting ready to put an African black soap that clarifies oily, blemish prone skin. And then a tamarind extract and natural astringent to help exfoliate skin. And then don't forget that tea tree oil. It gently purifies essential oils that help soothe and mattify. It says mattify. I am not reading that wrong. It says mattify skin. It, have, it made me come out of my country twang because I had to make sure it said mattify. Yep. All right. So let's get ready to wash our face. Not wash our face, but you want to make sure you have kind of like a cleansed, damp face, right? Before we put the mask on. You don't want to just put it over dirt because then it's just like... What a coincidence here. I have the Shea Moisturizing Coconut Daily Hydration Foaming Facial Wash. So that's what I'm going to use to kind of do this. Wash through my skin really quick before I put the Clarifying Shea Moisture Mask on. I actually have the toner too. I just ran out of the, um, uh, the lo uh, face lotion. Come on, Brielle, the moisturizer. You know what I'm saying here. Shea Moisture is my thing. Okay, anyways, let me put my, my soap on and wrap it up in my face. Why do I have to get ghetto with it too? All right, cleansing the face so we can start having a fresh face to put a Shea Moisturizer mask on. Bro, it's just a facial mask. You don't need to show them your vocal skills. I realize that I could talk why I wash my face, but I'm just like that. I could talk at the same time. I also use this brush I got from Five Below to really get deep up in my pores and stuff. Girl, why are you getting ghetto with it? Just I really just use the Five Below. I just kind of lightly go over my face, just exfoliate a little bit more before I put the mask on. Five below y'all is five dollars. All right, I just get an extra through my skin here. Up under my neck, cause you don't want to have a dirty neck. No one wants a dirty neck. <laughs> I look like I better let it go. Looks like another love TK. Oh, sorry. I don't know why when I close my eyes, I really be getting into the song. Anyways, my face is washed. I'm going to dry. I was really hitting that Teddy Pennygraph note today. I just want to say, um, I might become a superstar off that one Teddy. Let me stop. Let me stop. Bro, you're not going to be a superstar off Teddy Prettygrass's music. All right, next. My face is cleansed. All right, ready to put the mask on. It's a little bit damp, too. Just, I didn't want it to, like, scrape my face with that towel. All right. So, we're going to apply a thin layer of mud with our fingertips. We're going to avoid around our eye area. We're gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then we're gonna remove it with a damp cloth. All right, let's get started. Let's see what it looked like. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be that charcoal, charcoal? Ooh, it's like that, it's like gray paste. Ooh, it's like gray kitten garden paste. All right, I like to get mine all out, all up in my hand. All up, sorry. Girl, sit down. God. Put the mask on. All right. 
and set apply thinly with your fingertips. Avoid your eye. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells so good. And it's going on really easy. All right, put it on this area. It smells so good. It really does smell like tamarind and something else. It really smells really good. And it says apply a thin layer, but it smells so good. I feel like I've been putting on thick layers. I'm getting ready to become a white walker. That's really what's about to happen to me because I'm putting too much on and it clearly said, Brielle, put a thin layer on, but it smells so good and it's going on so easy. Lord, please don't let this mask come out because I'm already not following directions and make it turn around and be thick and it take a hard time to come off like that dollar store one. That really ripped my skin off and I don't need that right now. But I really don't think Shea Moisture is gonna do that to I, me. I pretty much have it on. I'm a bit concerned. I really start feeling the tingling. It feels like cold. It feels cold, like getting colder. My only concern is like, I, I hope it doesn't get hard because I touch some of my eyebrows and I don't need that problem because usually I don't need to do too much to my eyebrows and I don't want to like rip this all off and I don't have any facial expressions anymore. You know how it goes. All right, let's get a little under my chin because that's where I was showing you my problem area was and look at me still playing more when it told me a thin layer because I'm asking for trouble. I'm somebody that likes to live on an edge, obviously, as you can tell, because I am i can't even follow directions here. Okay, so I'm gonna stop before, maybe I should get a bit under my neck, just. Mm. It's so on, it's on, it's on, it's on. <sighs> I get too hyped for no reason sometimes. But anyways, you gotta keep it off for 10 minutes, you all, 10 minutes. You know what you can do. You can dance. You can go wash the dishes. You can do a load of clothes. You just keep this one off for 10 minutes. I'm still concerned about my eyebrows, though, because it is getting a little harder. But I, it did tell me, too, like, just apply a thin layer, but it was smelling so good, I kept applying it. So I guess the negative reaction, I would say, if I had one, it, was a, it smells so good, you'll keep applying it. Anyways. What are you gonna do for the 10 minutes? You already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dance. What song is it gonna be? <coughs> should it be my own? Mm. I, no, it should not be my own jam. I'll find one. All right, you guys, it's been 10 minutes. I used my 10 minutes and I danced. Now we're gonna take our damp cloth and we are going to slowly remove the pro oh, it's coming off smooth. I'm not gonna lose my eyebrows. Yes, Lord, I knew. Shea butter, yes. I knew you were gonna work out for me. Oh, it comes off so easy too. Like it's, it's hard, it's hard on my face, but as soon as I take that damp cloth to it, it comes off so easily. Let's go for my eyebrows because that's what I was worried about the most. Oh, girl, yes, they're still there for you. And you can tell I have them. I'm not, that's not to anybody, but I'm just saying, like, one thing I take pride on, like, girl, you got eyebrows, you know? Sorry. Anyways, I'm taking it off. All right, guys, you can tell I'm completely not a white walker anymore. For a second there, I had that cloudy gray look, like I could be one from Game of Thrones, that's my show. Anyways, I'm gonna lightly go just really quickly over my face with the Shea Moisturizer Foam Facial Wash just to get make sure I have any residue. It's gonna be super quick. Yeah. I'm not gonna use my scrub brush because I don't need it. All right, take my um, towel, that's the dress bar, dry it off, damply, don't don't scrape your face now. Don't scrape your face now. After I damp dry my face, I'm going to take my Shea Moisturizer Clarifying Toner. You definitely tone your face, ladies. It will help with that. All right, you guys, what do you think? 
I love it. I would definitely be using this clay matte mask again. The tamarind, it's the thing that gets me, like, because it smells so good, I kept applying it. However, it didn't do me bad. You saw it came off smooth. So, and my skin feels like it's glowing, it's moisturized, it's soft. I would definitely be using this mask again. Thank you, Shea Moisturizer, for bringing my face back to life. Girl, sorry.